Hey everyone, it's me, not Vivian here, and today we're going to be discussing how to load texture packs in Dolphin Emulator or Ishiruka, whichever one you prefer. Texture hacks are utilized to enhance the gameplay experience, whether it be by upgrading the graphics or having an entirely different feel by changing the textures up entirely. To download texture packs, go to the link in the description which will have a thread to a bunch of texture packs which you can download and install. You can also google search for any other texture packs that you might find on your own. Open up Dolphin or Ishiruka, right click on the game that you have a texture pack for, Go to Properties, and then go to the Info tab. There, you'll find the game ID. Copy and paste it, because we'll need it for later. Now go ahead and download your texture pack from the thread. I'll be getting the Paper Mario texture pack, but you can choose to get whichever one you want. Now locate the Dolphin Emulator folder that will have all of your folders for Dolphin, including the folder called Load. This will usually be in the Documents folder, or whatever you specified it to save to. Open up Load, open up Textures, and copy all of your textures into a new folder titled the Game ID that we copied earlier. Textures for Dolphin come in two formats, being .png and .dds. If the textures aren't in those formats, they won't load in Dolphin or Ishiruka properly. Once you do that, go back to Dolphin, go to Graphics, go to Advanced, and then check Load Custom Textures. Once you've done that, you can open up the game and everything should work properly. As you can see, Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door now has HD textures loaded and everything looks really good. Custom textures can slow down some games, so if you encounter any slowdown, make sure that you bump the graphics down a bit. But if your computer is capable, then you should have a full-fledged gaming experience with custom textures. Some games, like Super Mario Sunshine, require you to do additional steps in order to get textures loading properly, and so you might want to Google if you run into any problems. Like always, make sure to leave feedback in the comments and tell me what you thought of the tutorial. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.